1993, when I first went to Zimbabwe, there was a new and growing school system. But there were seven boys for every girl at secondary school. And what I found was that boys had a much better chance of paid work, so girls were the ones who dropped out. But of course, if a girl drops out of school, then it means that the next generation will be born into poverty. We, as a global community, are losing all that creativity, all that energy, if girls don't go to school. I often hear that girls are outside the school system in Africa because parents are resistant to the education of girls, because of traditional values. This was the basis, actually, on which I started CAMFED, because it wasn't what I found in Zimbabwe. And I wanted to show that there was a desire and a passion for education that we could, we could work with. We work in the rural areas because that's where the poverty is often deepest and the opportunities are least. We look out at the world through the child's eyes, understand why she lacks confidence, why she doesn't feel safe on the journey to and from home, why she's tired in class and falls asleep because she's doing too many domestic and agricultural chores. And what we do then is build around the child. We are working with the community. We are working with the family, all those with the power to affect a child's life and beyond with national governments. We have young women leaders in our alumni organization. And they are the change makers working at the village level. And they understand what it feels like to be a barefoot child without opportunity. In my power to read as a, a comfort director in Tanzania, it comes from my personal experience of being a girl and having to struggle through my education having to lose a mother when I was 10 years, having to have a father who was very hardworking but could not have enough for me to be in school. This is what creates my power to lead. I am grooming you to become very dedicated and very smart leaders. Over many years, we have supported the education of just over 4.4 million children. The majority are indeed girls, and we support them through childhood, adolescence, and into young adulthood. We cannot break the cycle of poverty if a girl drops out of school when she's 12 or 13. So for us, that long-term approach is really fundamental. I'm a grandmother now. I have three grandchildren, and they are extremely loved and privileged children. I see families in Africa where there is deep love, but there is a shortage of means to give children what their parents know that they need. And I want a world which is fair, in which we have an equitable distribution of opportunities. And we will, all of us, benefit from living in a world that way. <laughs>